There is a competition of sorts in America to earn the right to be in the Hall of Fame of public bathrooms. Bryant Park and Greeley Square Park, both in New York City. Bancroft Park in Colorado. All of them shown here in full glory. But San Francisco has never reached that claim to fame. We have not had any winners from San Francisco. Sintas, the large restroom supply company, actually honors the best, brightest, and innovative public bathrooms. It's not something that people talk about often, but I think everyone values a clean and functional restroom. Maybe San Francisco is not ready to give up yet. Why not here? The plumbing already exists. The city has secured state funding to build a small 150 square foot public bathroom right in the heart of the Noe Valley neighborhood at a cost of $1.7 million. Put it to better use. It's, it's ridiculous. 1.7 for a stupid bathroom. That's the estimate given by the Department of Recreation and Parks because of all the permits, planning, union, labor, etc. that would be involved. City officials hope it won't cost that much. They have an idea of what um, of what it will be, um, but it, 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 I don't think they have like the formal final uh, plans yet. But now they're going to be in a position to be able to put all that together. Still, people here in Noe Valley ask to have a commode in place. By the way, the word commode comes from the French meaning suitable or convenient. You know, it'd be nice to have some facilities like that, yeah. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. Having public access rather than um, having to go into a restaurant and say, can I use the laboratory? I think that's what, what a, neighbor should a neighborhood should have. Southern Washington Heights, zero functioning public bathroom. New York, for example, is considering legislation that would force the city to build public restrooms in every zip code. We don't have nearly enough public restrooms in San Francisco. Like most things in San Francisco, big dreams start in small places at a high cost. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.